Welcome back to the OM617 conversion series. We got a quick video today for you. We're going to go over how to install a water temp sensor and go over some tips and tricks for attaching your heater hoses. So we've already gone over the installation of this aftermarket thermostat housing in a separate video. Now we're going to move on to how we're going to install a water temp sensor. So from the factory, there's a metal shield here that I'll remove when I do these swaps. And then we have two factory fittings, and I remove the outer fitting. So the, the fitting takes a 19 millimeter headed socket to get that off. The next thing we'll do is we'll remove these two bolts, which are 13 millimeter head. So once you have this removed, you'll have to drill this hole out. I drill and tap this to 3 8 NPT, and that calls for one size bigger than a 9 16 drill bit, but I find that 9 16 is close enough to work, and it's a lot easier uh, drill bit to go find at your hardware store. So I drill just past... Um, you can see where the threads end at the bottom there. I, I drill just past that because if you go too far down you'll actually blow out the bottom here. Now once you get your hole tapped to the 3 8 NPT you can use this adapter fitting from Autometer. The rule of thumb that I've been told is you should be able to get a minimum of three full turns of thread engagement by hand so if you're trying to gauge how deep you want to tap this hole, it should, you should be able to get three full turns in there. So this fitting is part number 2263, and what it does is it allows you to take your water temp probe and insert that into this fitting here, and it threads straight in. That way you're not reducing half-inch NPT um, down to 3 8 which this gauge comes with only a half inch bung which is huge and I've never been able to use that bung I'm not sure why Autometer doesn't just use this fitting with their kits but this needs to have Teflon tape on it and then this fitting here is a compression fitting so this does not get Teflon tape so when we go to replace the housing a lot of times the hose that connects these two pieces is worn out. So I get a replacement hose. It's a high temp silicone and it's inch and 5 eighths ID. So you'll put your hose clamps on. This just slides right over. And then you'll take your new gasket for the housing. Take a bolt to keep that gasket in place, and you'll actually slide the hose over first and push down until the bolt hole for the housing lines up. So, once you get those bolts tightened down, We'll go ahead and make sure our hose is positioned where we want that. And then we can tighten up our hose clamps. And then the last step will be to put your Teflon tape on your fitting here and install that with your water temp sensor. The other tip and trick I want to tell you about is for your heater hose. So this is a pretty odd size fitting coming out for the heater hose over here on the right side of the engine. It just so happens that this hole is the perfect size for a 3 8 NPT thread to be tapped in. It's, it's just slightly oversized but it still works. So you don't have to drill this out. You can just go straight to tapping that to 3 8 NPT. I don't have the exact fitting on hand that'll go in there. But it looks like this. It's a straight fitting. 
NPT to hose barb and it'll just thread right in there and I run a 5 8 inch hose barb on the outside because that's what the Toyotas take alternatively on the left side of the engine that heater hose actually works out really well the Mercedes hose will splice together with the Toyota hose so all you have to have is a 5 8 hose splice and the hose is made up perfectly and that's it for this video I know it was a short one but I had a lot of time invested in figuring all this out on my first swap so I'm hoping that passing this on to you will save you some time on your swap project and with that being said we'll see you at our next video